Inhale and fill the back body. Exhale. Inhale, lift up through the crown of the head. Exhale and soften through your shoulders, through the neck. Inhale, lift up through the body. Close your eyes. And just let yourself relax. And what I might do, I will come back in, but mute myself the whole way. So if Joanne can let me in again as me. Keep breathing in through the back of the body. Exhale and let out from the front. Inhale and fill up through the back of the body. Exhale and soften. Try and relax your jaw as you exhale. Let your legs get heavy. Let your hips get heavy. Shift all of your center of gravity to your hips, your thighs, your shins, your feet. And with each inhale, lift up through the crown of the head. Let your whole upper body become buoyant. And imagine that the air is like a breath of light. You're breathing in light. And as you exhale, you're letting everything out of your body that you've been holding on to during the day and for the last week. Inhale, breathe in the light from outside. And as you exhale, let go of everything else that you're holding on to. Inhale, breathe in the light. Exhale, let go of everything you're holding on to. Inhale, breathe in the light. Exhale and let go of everything. Inhale, breathe in the light. Exhale and let go. Just keep with this rhythm for the next minute or so. Holding into yourself from within. Feeling the rhythm of the breath as it moves. The changing sensations as you let go. Scan your body. Look for different parts within your body that need attention from you. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and then release them. Look for those bits of your body that are screaming for attention or that are just nudging you, reminding you that they're there and direct your breath to them. Exhale, soften. And on your next inhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. And as you exhale, open your eyes, lift your chin, lower your hands back to your lap and come up to standing. If you have a towel on the ground, place it down. If not, just stand in the middle. And as you inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Lift up as high as you can and then soften your shoulder blades down, keeping your arms high. On the exhale, lower them down again. 
So slow down your exhale and lengthen your inhale. As you inhale, lift up again. Interlace your fingers and flip your palms to the sky. Exhale and release. Inhale. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Push your palms away from you. And on the inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, soften your shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, lift the heart, soften your shoulder blades down, stretching your arms as high as they go. Inhale, rise through the crown of the head, firm through your core. Exhale, soften your shoulder blades. On the next inhale, lift higher. And on the exhale, release your hands, lowering them down. Inhale, bring your hands together in front of the heart, interlace them and push your palms away. Round your back, tuck your chin under. Inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale and soften your shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale and soften. Inhale, lift your heart higher. Exhale, release your hands into lay them back behind you. Roll your biceps out. Slide your hands down past your tailbone, rolling your biceps out, opening through the collarbone, lifting your chest to the sky, keeping your thighs where they are. So think about rolling your thighs in and back and then tucking your tailbone under, giving yourself a limit so that you don't have like a banana back. On the exhale, release your arms and lower them down. Inhale, interlace your fingers in front of you. Exhale, push your palms away from you, round your back. Inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, soften your shoulder blades. Inhale, keep lifting your arms high. On the exhale, release your hands and interlace them back behind you. Inhale, roll your biceps out, slide your finger past your tailbone. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, soften through the chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, roll your thighs in and back. Extend your tailbone down. On your next exhale, release your hands. Inhale, lift your hands, place them together, interlace them. Exhale, push your palms away from you. Inhale, lift your arms to the sky. One last one. Exhale, soften your shoulder blades. Inhale, lift your arms higher. Exhale, release and interlace your hands behind you. Roll your biceps out. Exhale, slide your hands past your tailbone. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, soften at the shoulder blades, at the collarbone. Inhale, lift the heart and on the exhale, release your hands. On the next inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Interlace your fingers and flip them up. On your next exhale, lean over to the right and push down on your left foot. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale, soften further to the right. Inhale, lift higher up. Exhale, soften. Inhale, lift higher up. Still turning your heart up to the sky. Exhale, soften further to the right. On your next inhale, return to center. Release your arms. Inhale, lift your arms again. Interlace them the opposite way so that they're awkwardly interlaced, not the usual way you're used to, and flip your palms to the sky. On the exhale, lean over to the left, and then turn your heart up to the sky. Inhale, lift your heart to the sky. Exhale, soften further to the left. Inhale, keep turning your heart to the sky. Bring your cheek up towards your right arm. Exhale, keep softening. On the next inhale, return to center. Exhale, re release your arms. And then inhale, lift your arms at shoulder height. Squeeze your legs towards each other, firm through the core. And on the next inhale, turn to the right. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, turn to left. Exhale, return to center. Inhale to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale to the left. Exhale and center. Release your arms. Wonderful. Now we're going to do uh, what I call windmill arms. So if you, if you lift your left arm forward, right arm back. So I'll turn around so you can see me. Exhale, lift your left arm forward. 
your right arm forward, left arm back, inhale, swap, exhale, swap arms, inhale, left forward, exhale, right forward, inhale, left forward, exhale, right forward, inhale, left forward, exhale, right forward. On the next inhale, leave your arms to come and join at the top and keep traveling in opposite directions. So as you inhale and you lift up through the front at the left, keep moving your arms in a circle, really slowly, really mindfully. They are intersecting in opposite directions. One is going clockwise, one is going anti-clockwise. And on your next inhale, come to center, release down, lift your right arm forward, left arm back, swap as you inhale. Exhale, right arm forward. Inhale, left arm forward. Exhale, right arm forward. Inhale, left arm forward. On the next exhale, right arm forward. Inhale and come up the whole way with your hands intersecting at the top. Keep moving them in circles, anti-clockwise on one side and clockwise on the other. Really slow down your breath. Make sure that you follow the rhythm of the breath as you move. And think about the movement in your shoulder blades. You've been sitting for the whole morning, so your shoulder blades have been in one position the whole time. So just feel the movement of your shoulders. Feel the movement of your spine. And then slowly return to center. Then while you're here, lift up, roll, roll your thighs in and down and hinge forward. Plant your hands onto your thighs and extend forward. If you have a chair in front of you, like I do here, place your hands on top of the chair. If your back is not very flexible, this is a forward fold for you. But if your back is fairly flexible, you can come forward the whole way. Bend your knees if you need to reach the ground. So if you can't touch the ground with your back extended, then bend the knees until you can. And then keep lowering yourself down. Keep bending your knees. Just lower your head the whole way down. Bend your knees. Keep yourself breathing in through the back body. And on the next inhale, slide your hands up your shins and extend forward. Exhale and lower down. Inhale, slide your hands up your shins and extend forward. Exhale and lower down. Once again, inhale, slide your hands up your shins and extend forward. Exhale and lower down. On your next inhale, bend your knees, planting your chest onto your thighs and lift your arms at shoulder height. Roll your biceps back, squeeze your shoulder blades together and think about your thighs. Roll them down and squeeze them towards each other without moving your knees. So keep your knees tracking over your toes. Exhale, slowly stand up, release your arms. And on your next inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward slowly with control. And once again, come halfway down. If you have a chair there, grab the chair and step your left foot back. If you don't need a chair, you can lower your fingertips to the ground. So coming into a full lunge with your left leg back behind you. Squeeze your right hip back, left hip forward. On your exhale, lower your left knee to the ground and stack your shoulders over your hips. Squeeze your right hip back, left hip forward. Inhale, rise through the crown of the head, soften through the shoulders. Inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, soften your shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, lift the heart. And as you exhale, lower your right hand down. Extend out through your left hand. And on your exhale, just soften a little bit to the right. 
If you feel you're losing balance, return to center. If you feel you don't have any balance, place your right hand on your right thigh and just stay upright. On the exhale, release your left hand down and then tuck your left elbow over your right knee. Join your two hands together so that you're in a prayer position. And as you inhale, lift the heart up and turn to face the right. So for, for you, it will look like that. On your exhale, lower your fingertips to the ground. Lift your back knee up. And then step forward to the front of the mat. Bend your knees, lower head and shoulders. On the next inhale, come up halfway. If you're in need of the chair, grab the chair, place your hands on the chair, firm through the core and step your right foot back behind you. If you don't need the chair, just lower your fingertips to the ground. Squeeze your left hip back, right hip forward. Lower your right knee to the ground and then stack your shoulders over your hips. To gain balance, squeeze your right hip back, your left, your left hip back and your right hip forward and then check that your front knee is in line with your front heel. And as you inhale, lift your arms to the sky. Exhale, soften your shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, lift the heart. On the exhale, lower your left hand down and stretch up through your right arm. If you have balance, allow your body to soften a little bit to the left. If you don't have balance, return to center. If you have no balance at all, your left hand comes to your left thigh, press down through your left knee, down into the ground, into your foot as you extend up. Exhale, lower your fingertips to the ground. Lift your back knee up and step forward to the front of the mat, lower head and shoulders. And then hands to your hips, come up halfway, squeeze your thighs into the middle, firm through the core, squeeze your shoulder blades together. On the inhale, stand up and release your arms. Now step your left foot back behind you. Check that your back foot is in one line with the heel of your front foot. So the arch is in line with your front heel. Bend your front knee. Lift up through the heart, turn to face the left and lift your, your arms at shoulder height. Now think about your back leg turning it in and back. Keep bending the front knee and divide at the ribs. So you're, by turning your back thigh in, your hips are pointing forward. So your ribs are going to point forward. At this point, turn at the ribs to the side and lift your arms back at shoulder height. Look over your right fingertips and you're in warrior two. On the exhale, lower your left hand down, lift your right arm up, bend your front knee. On the next exhale, lower your right arm to shoulder height, lift your left arm to shoulder height as you inhale. Exhale, lower the arms, inhale, step forward to the front of the mat and release your arms. And this time, step your right foot back behind you, check that your Arch is in line with your front heel. Bend the front knee. Think about your back leg, turn it in and back. Anchor that back leg down using your back foot. Bend your front knee, roll that back thigh in and back. So your hips are pointing forward. Lean slightly back with your torso and then turn up the ribs to face the right. Lift your arms at shoulder height. Look over your left fingertips. Rise through the crown of the head. On the exhale, lower your right hand down. Lift your left arm up. Keep bending your front knee. On the exhale, lower the left hand to shoulder height. Inhale, lift the right hand to shoulder height. On the next exhale, lower both hands and step forward to the front of the mat. Release your arms. Now step your left foot back so that you're in another open stance, bend your front knee, check that your back foot is also in line with your front heel. So your back arch is in line with your front heel. 
bend your right elbow and place your right forearm on your right thigh. Left hand to left hip. Turn your back thigh in. Anchor your back foot. Turn the ribs up to face the sky and then lift your left arm up overhead, pointing your fingers forward and your palm down. And now think about your right upper arm. Do not allow your body to hang down, but lift up out of the upper arm. Lift your shoulder away from it so that all you are doing is keeping your balance. You're not actually supporting your weight with your arm. On your next inhale, windmill your arms to center so that they're at shoulder height and you're in warrior two again. Lower your left hand down, lift your right arm up. On the exhale, lower your right arm down, stretch your front leg and step forward to the front of the mat. Wonderful. Now step your right leg back behind you. I'm going to turn around so you can see it. Once again, check that your front heel is in line with your back arch. Bend the front knee. Left forearm to left thigh, right hand to right hip. Anchor your back foot and turn your right thigh in and back. Turn your ribs to the right and lift your right arm up overhead, pointing forwards. Point your palm down towards the ground. On your next inhale, windmill yourself back into warrior two with your arms at shoulder height. Your legs stay where they are. On the exhale, your right hand comes down. Your left arm goes up. Inhale, lift the heart. On your exhale, lower the left arm down. Inhale, stretch the front leg and step forward to the front of the mat. Wonderful. Now, step your legs wide with your feet parallel. Check that the outside of your feet is parallel to the short edge of the mat or your towel. That's one of the reasons I got a towel for you guys is that you can that way measure distances as well. Hands to your hips. Now think about your legs again. You know how we were moving our thighs in and back? Roll your thighs in. Place your hand at your lower back and see if you've got a little lower back curve there. If you do, then start extending your tailbone down a little bit to the ground, not much. Squeeze your thighs into the middle as if there was something there that you didn't want to let go, be it a large foam block like I have in front of me or a beach ball. Just imagine you don't want that to move so you're holding on to it or perhaps you want to wash your dog and you want the dog to stay where he is. So imagine that you're holding whatever it is between your thighs and you're not letting it go. Hands to your hips. Hinge forward at the crease of the hips. Wherever you come to is halfway down for you. Push the ground away from you. For those of you that need a chair, I will demonstrate. So I'll turn around and demonstrate how it would look if you have a chair down. So you place your hands onto the chair, roll your thighs in and back, squeeze your thighs into the middle come down halfway. For those of you who do not need a chair, you can lower your fingertips to the ground. If you do need the chair and you want to lower further, come down to your forearms on the chair, look down at the ground, and this is your full forward fold if you need a chair. If you do not need a chair, lower your fingertips down and then bend the elbows and come further down. On your next inhale, come up halfway. On the exhale, heel toe your feet back to center. So if you're using the chair and you've got your arms wide, come up off the forearms, plant your hands on the chair and then heel toe your feet back to center. Hands to your hips, squeeze your, your thighs into the middle and on the inhale, slowly stand up. Release your arms. Wonderful. So now we're going to focus on your elbow, on your shoulders. So as you inhale, roll your thighs in and back. Squeeze your thighs into the middle. And once again, feel your back for a little lower back curve. Extend down through the crown of the head. Rise through the crown of the head. Extend down through your tailbone. 
soften through the shoulder blades inhale lift your arms to the sky exhale hinge forward halfway those of you who have a chair place your hands on the chair those who don't need a chair lower your fingertips to the ground and bend your knees and then step back all the way back until you make it into the famous downward dog you've been expecting bend your knees push your heart to your knees you do not need to extend your heels to the ground you can keep them high and bend your knees the important part is for you to extend through the spine if your knees are shaking then squeeze them into the middle bend them further and push your hips up on the exhale extend your heels down if they don't touch the ground it does not matter on the next exhale release your knees to the ground coming to a tabletop position and while you're here check that your arms are in one line down from the shoulders so that your hand is directly below the shoulders and your hip bones are also in one line so down from the hips that you've got your knees directly below so it's all in square angles extend your right leg back behind you and then feel your hips with your left hand check that they're even and then firm through the core flex your back foot and extend your left arm forward on the exhale lower your left hand down lower your right knee down extend your left leg back behind you lift up through the chest and extend your right arm in front of you squeeze your legs into the middle firm through the core exhale and lower your right hand down lower your left knee down we're going to do this a couple of times so firm through your core extend your right leg back behind you out through the ankle and then extend your left arm forward lifting up out of the right shoulder firm through the core on the exhale lower left hand down lower your right knee down inhale and extend your left leg back behind you firm through the core and then extend your right arm in front of you inhale lift up out of the shoulder exhale extend back through your heel and through your fingertips on the exhale lower your right hand down left knee down now we're going to do something i call a shoulder protraction so for that I'll show you what happens with your shoulders from the back. So what's going to happen is you're going to push away just through the upper back and then soften just through the upper back. So we're going to stay on all fours, firm through the core, keep your waist in a neutral spine and then through the exhale, soften between the shoulder blades, letting the top of the chest sink between your shoulder blades inhale lift up away from your shoulder blades exhale and lower back down inhale lift back up out of the shoulder blades exhale and lower back down inhale come back to center extend out through the crown of the head and then walk your hands forward coming into a half plank for those of you can, who can do the full plank you can lift your knees off the ground otherwise you can stay with your knees on the ground exhale and lower down point your feet press the tops of your feet on the ground and then place your hands on either side of your chest preferably below each elbow so roll your biceps back squeeze your shoulder blades together and extend your heart forward exhale lower down inhale roll your biceps back squeeze your shoulder blades together extend your heart forward exhale and lower down one last time roll your biceps back squeeze your shoulder blades together extend your heart forward exhale and lower down fantastic now slide your hands in front of you bring your four fingers and thumbs together and lower them to the ground with the elbows bent so they're in a diamond shape so your arms are in a diamond shape and your four fingers and your thumbs are describing a triangle tuck your chin under 
Inhale, lift up through the back of the skull. Exhale, release. Keep your chin tucked under. Inhale, lift up through the back of the skull. Exhale, release. Inhale, tuck your, tuck your chin under. Lift up through the back of the skull. Exhale and release. Brilliant. And now extend your arms in front of you. Look down at the ground and lift your left leg and right arm forward. So your left leg behind you and up. Right arm up and forward. Exhale and release. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, release. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, release. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, release. And now, open your arms wide like an airplane. Roll your biceps out. Squeeze your shoulder blades into the middle and look down at the ground. On the inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, soften at the chest, but squeeze your shoulder blades together, keeping your arms high. As you inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, and lower the whole way down. Inhale, come up onto your fingertips, squeeze your shoulder blades together, roll your biceps back. Exhale, and let the chest relax, but keep your shoulder blades active. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, soften at the chest, keeping your shoulder blades active. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Come back again onto your fingertips. Roll your biceps out. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Push down with the tops of your feet. Push down with your hips so your knees come up. So your knees are extended, but they're lifted away from the ground by the movement of your feet as they push the top down onto the ground. On the exhale, soften between the shoulder blades. On the inhale, lift your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, soften the chest, keeping your shoulder blades squeezed. Inhale, lift up. Exhale and release. Slide your hands back next to your ribs. Tuck your toes on. Now push yourself back to half plank. And then point your toes and sit back onto your heels. We won't be long here. So come to a cross-legged position again. And while we're here, if you feel like your knees are really high up, roll your towel really thickly or grab a pillow, place it behind you and sit on top of it. So you're on the edge of the pillow and your hips start to hinge forward. So I'm going to turn so you can see what position your hips should be in. So you can feel that yourself. So if you sit up onto a set of blocks, a rolled up towel or a pillow, and you're on the edge like I am here, your hips will go from being from pointing to the back to pointing to the front. Place your hands on your knees and walk your fingertips down. Now anchor your hips down as you walk your hands forward lowering head and shoulders and while you're here allow your whole body to relax forward tuck your chin under allow your back to round close your eyes and breathe into your back body fill the back of your lungs and as you exhale, just soften. Inhale and fill the back of the lungs. Exhale and soften. And we're going to stay here for quite a few breaths. So keep filling the back of the body. And exhale through the back. On your next inhale, lift your shoulders up and then walk your hands over to the left so that your heart is pointing over your left knee. And then turn your ribs over towards the left. That will mean that the extension on both sides of your waist is equidistant. So walk your hands forward 
and then lower your chest over your thigh, lowering your head down. It doesn't matter if your chest doesn't touch your thigh, by the way, it's okay to just be above, so long as your heart's facing your knee. And just keep walking your hands as far forward as they let you until you reach your limit. And your limit might be here, it might be here, or it could be the whole way forward. So as you exhale, just allow your whole body to relax over the left thigh with your heart pointing towards your left knee. And with each inhale, feel the right side of the body. As you exhale, soften through your right hip. Inhale and feel your right lung and the right side of your body. Exhale, soften through that right hip, anchoring it down. On your next inhale, walk your hands back towards the knee, lift your chest up, and then come to center. Change the cross of your legs. Once again, place your hands in front of your knees and walk your fingertips forward. On the exhale, start walking your hands over to the right side. Turn your ribs towards the right so that your heart is pointing over your right knee. And as you exhale, allow your whole body to come forward. Release your shoulders, release your neck. Inhale and fill the left side of the body. On the next exhale, start walking your hands back under your shoulders. Inhale, lift the heart up. Come back to center. And then uncross your legs, placing your feet on the ground. I'm going to turn around so you can see the position we're going into. So grab the back of your knees. Firm through the core, lift up through the chest. And then lean your shoulders back so that your back is extended in one line. Your head and shoulders are coming back. Keep holding onto the back of your knees so that when you lean far enough, your toes come off the ground, firm through the core. Squeeze your legs into the middle. If this is already hard for you, stay here. Otherwise, start lifting your shins up, firm through the core, lift up through the heart. If this is okay for you, but you can't let go, stay here. But if your core is strong, let go of your hands and extend them forward. Lean your shoulders back. On the exhale, lower your toes down. Return to the starting position. So we'll do that one more time. Grab the back of your knees. Lift the heart. Extend out through the spine. And then lean back. Shoulders and head lean back until your toes come off the ground. Squeeze your legs into the middle, firm through the core. And then if this is your limit, you stay here. Otherwise, lift your shins parallel to the ground. If this is your limit, stay here. Otherwise, extend your hands in front of you. Keep firming through the core. Exhale and lower your toes down. Return to the starting position. Stretch your legs out, coming into Dandasana or Staff Pose. And lift up through the heart. Rise through the crown of the head. Close your eyes and let your center of gravity shift back to your hips. Point your toes to the sky, dig your heels into the ground. For most of you, this is already a forward fold because you're already in full extension through your back. On your next inhale, Bend your knees again, plant your feet on the ground, open your eyes and roll your back down to the ground. Extend your left leg out, bend your right knee, grab your knee with both hands and bring it in towards your chest. Flex your left foot, point your left toes to the sky. Exhale, soften your shoulder blades down towards the ground. Don't try and force your knee. So as you exhale, soften at the hip, 
soften thinking about your thigh, the back of your thigh, your hips, your glutes. Just allow that to soften. Inhale and feel the back of the body. Exhale and imagine that you are softening at the hip, softening in the hamstrings, softening through the glutes. On the exhale, let go of your knee and lower your foot down to the ground. Bend your left knee, extend your right knee, your right leg out, and bring your left knee in towards the chest, holding onto it with both hands. Flex your right foot, point your toes to the sky. And as you exhale, soften through the hamstrings, through the glutes, through the hips, the shoulders, the back of the neck. Inhale and feel the back of the body. Exhale, soften through the shoulder blades, soften through the glutes. Soften through your hips. On your next exhale, release your leg, lowering your left foot to the ground. Bend your right knee. And now walk your feet closer in towards your hips. Press the back of your skull into the ground. Bend your arms at the elbows with your fingers pointing up and the upper arms next to your chest, on the, to the sides of you. Press the upper arms into the ground, firm through your core, and then just curl your tailbone up a little. These are just tailbone curls. Exhale and release back down. Inhale, firm through the core, curl your tailbone up a little, just so it lifts off the ground. Exhale and lower it. Once again, inhale, press your shoulder blades, your upper arms, the back of your skull into the ground, and then curl your tailbone up a little. Exhale and release. One last time. Press the back of your head, your shoulder blades, your upper arms into the ground. Inhale, slowly curl the tailbone up. Exhale and release. Lower your hands. And now lift your knees up, grab opposite knees grab both knees with the same side so your right hand to your right knee your left hand to your left knee and open your knees out and just allow your hips to open using gravity so you can slide your hands to the inside of the knee do not push them do not pull them just allow gravity to work with them and as you inhale, imagine you can direct your breath to your hips, to the crease of the hips. As you exhale, soften at the crease of the hips. Soften at the joint where your thigh bone meets your thigh. Exhale. And feel where the thigh bone meets the hip. At that joint, just soften. On your next inhale, bring your hands together and your knees together, interlacing your fingers, holding your knees and bringing them in towards your chest. Exhale, soften through the back and the shoulders, soften through the back of the neck, through the skull. Inhale, fill the front of the body. Exhale, soften your shoulders. On your next exhale, release your hands, lower your feet to the ground. And then heel toe your feet wider than your hips. Open your arms wide at the height of your shoulders and lower both knees over to the right in windshield wiper pose. Close your eyes. And as you inhale, fill the left side of the body. As you exhale, relax the left shoulder down to the ground. Inhale and fill the left side of the body. Exhale, relax the left shoulder. Inhale, fill the left side. Exhale and soften. On your next inhale, come back to center. 
exhale lower your legs over to the left so both knees come to the left inhale fill the right side of the body exhale soften at the hip and the shoulder inhale fill the right side of the body exhale soften through the shoulder inhale and fill the left side and the right side exhale soften at the right shoulder on your next inhale bring your knees back to the top stretch your legs out bring your hands closer in towards your legs flip them to face the sky allow the back of the arms to rest on the ground close your eyes and prepare yourself for the final relaxation pose savasana you can grab something for your eyes and we'll be here for about five minutes as you relax so close your eyes this is your moment
Start moving your fingers and your toes. Bunch your hands into fists and release them. Point your toes, flex them. And as you exhale, let your whole body melt into the ground. As you inhale, bend your knees, planting your feet on the ground. Exhale, let your whole upper body melt into the ground. On your next inhale, roll over to the right, using your right arm as a pillow. Exhale, allowing your body to melt into the ground, letting it hold you, support you. It's got you. You're not going anywhere right now. On your next inhale, help yourself up to sitting slowly. Come to a comfortable cross-legged position. In your own time, bring your hands together in front of your heart. As you inhale, lift up through the heart, extend up through the crown of the heart, the head as you Tuck your chin down towards your chest. And as you exhale, soften through the shoulders, soften through the skin. And thank yourself for looking after yourself today. Namaste. Thank you, guys. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. And that's the end of the class. You do this on a regular basis. You do it, don't you? Can you I can teach it. Teach yeah. yeah. I can tell. I can tell a mile. So that was like, you know, because of COVID, I stopped uh, doing anything. So that was fabulous. I'm so glad. Are you still able to teach now or not? Yeah, I'm teaching at gyms. Oh, wow. Are they open? Um, yeah. Only like mainly gyms are open, yoga studios are slowly opening. So I'm teaching at Snap and Forest Lake at Revolution in Balimba. And as of September, I'm teaching in Sustain in West End. And then I might be teaching at a yoga studio called Venus Connection in Wollongabba, also in September. Um, actually, we do have to clean um, in the gyms. They, we have to do a COVID-19 safety protocol, and then we have to clean everything before and after a class. Yoga blocks, yoga mats, straps, and in the studios, it's the same thing. But it's um, the studios are asking people to bring their own mats, but if they use a studio mat, they have to wipe it down themselves. I'm so glad. Okay, I'm now just as me. Sorry.